Hello, Walgreens family. Justin Patton here. Now, I'm not sure Jakita already told you, but my mother worked at Walgreens as a bookkeeper for over 30 years. And so the work that you do is really important, not just, just to me, but also to my family. It was the work that you all do and that your company does that allowed my family to build a home and have a future. And I believe ultimately what allows me to do what I do today. So just know that the work that you do is really important and that I see you and I believe in all that you do. Now, my first job ever was actually working at McDonald's and y'all, I loved that job. And part of the reason I loved that job, it was like the first time I was making money, I was feeling independent and I could afford a pager. Now, how many of y'all back in the day had a pager, right? Like look how far we have come. <laughs> and part of the reason I loved the job at McDonald's was because we got to interact with our customers and our guests and I got to go into the lobby and talk to people and really get to know them. But I had a manager who had good intentions, but was one of the first people in my life that ever said that famous line that I'm sure many of you have either heard or probably said at some point. And he was like, Justin, you have got to quit talking. And I know he was probably right, but he was like, you got to speed it up. He was like, blank is money. Now y'all know what goes there. What goes in that line? Blank is money. Yeah. He was like, come on, Justin, time is money. And I always say, is there some truth to that statement that there's that time is money? Sure. But I think we do ourselves, our teams, and all of our customers a disservice when that is our philosophy. And I think the bigger conversation that all of us should be having is that trust is money. And I want to prove it. Now, I know you're sitting there in a room together, but I want you to raise your hand if you've ever had a customer service experience that was so bad that you stopped doing business and never went back to that organization or company ever again. Raise your hand if that's been you. Yeah. So many times when I ask that question, the majority of people in the room will raise their hand. And I remember mine was, I used to go to this Mexican kind of fast food, casual restaurant a lot. Y'all, I went so much that one day when I walked in, they were like, oh my gosh, we were wondering what time you were coming today. That's embarrassing. Do not tell people that. <laughs> and I walked in one day and there is a new woman working. And so I walk up to the counter and I asked for the quesadilla to be grilled twice so that it's like oozy and crispy. So from a timing perspective, they got it all right. She takes my order. We go down the line. I'm at the grill machine. And as I'm standing there, well, by the register and she's by the grill machine, as I'm standing there, I can see her back there. And she hits the button once. She hits the button twice. And then all of a sudden, I see her hit it a third time. And I'm like, oh, it's going to be burned. And so I kind of just gingerly leaned over the counter and I was like, excuse me, ma'am. I just wanted it grilled twice. Now, I don't know if any of y'all ever watched The Exorcist when that girl cranks her head around, but she cranks her head around and she goes, I know. And I just remember standing there. First, I was embarrassed. Second, I started getting like angry and my heart starts to pound very quickly. My blood is starting to boil. And I am just like, hold it together. You are not going to jail over a chicken cheese quesadilla. <laughs> now, look at me, y'all. I am confident enough in myself to tell you, I cannot make it in jail. Y'all look at me. I cannot. And so I'm like, pull it together. Just stay calm. And she walks the quesadilla up to the front counter. She pushes it really slowly towards me and then does her little Beyonce walk to go help the next customer. And I took that quesadilla. I went into the lobby. I sat down and I ate that food. And when I walked out of that fast food place, I left and I took my loyalty, my finances, and everything positive that I've ever said about that organization, and I never went back ever again. It is never about time. It is always about trust. And so everything that I teach in my company at the Trust Architect Group is that trust is your biggest competitive advantage. So I want you to discuss that as an organization. So all of you as leaders in the room, I want you to stop the video and I want you to have a conversation about why is trust your biggest competitive advantage as it, with your team, with your customers, and I would even challenge you to say even at, at home with your own family. Why is trust your biggest competitive advantage? And so, hope it gives you something to think about. I hope it challenges you to think a little bit differently. And if no one tells you they believe in you all, please know that I believe in you and the work that you're doing at Walgreens.